everyone, welcome to Poland with Ela. Today I will be showing you around the beautiful town of Kazimierz Dolny, which attracts tourists all year long with its picturesque views, artistic atmosphere and blood-curdling legends. But before we get there, make sure you like this video and subscribe to my channel. The origins of Kazimierz Dolny date back to 11th century. On one of the hills, there was a settlement called Wietrzna Góra, or in English, the Windy Mountain, which belonged to the Benedictine order. In 1181, King Casimir the Just presented the settlement to the Norbertine nuns, which changed its name to the name of its donor. Nowadays, Kazimierz Dolny is eagerly visited by international tourists and every summer weekend by the residents of Warsaw and Lubni. Kazimierz Dolny is an architectural gem. There are as many as 250 buildings registered as historical monuments. The central point of Kazimierz Dolny is the medieval cobalt market. On summer weekends, it is bustling with life from morning until late in the evening. Residents, tourists and various artists and performers gather to spend time here. There are many restaurants and cafes around the square. It is worth sitting down in one of the pubs and simply taking in the life. While sitting there, you will see a historic well from the 19th century, one of the four in this Renaissance town. If you ever come here, try finding all four of them. According to a myth, whoever drinks water from the well will be a frequent guest in Kazimierz Dolny. Based on my personal experience, though, it doesn't always work. I don't get to be there as much as I would like. While on the Kazimierz Market Square, make sure not to miss a little sculpture of a dog, which commemorates a dog which during the summer used to come and sit there every day. During the winter, he would go back to Janowiec, a town which is located on the other side of the Vistula River. While the dog was in Kazimierz, the residents always made sure he had something to eat. One year though, the dog didn't come back. So some artists from Kazimierz decided to make sure that he will accompany them anyways, though in a slightly different form. The houses surrounding the market square from three sides were originally made out of wood, but they've burned down in different fires. In their place, Renaissance tenement houses were built, though most of them have not survived until today. What we see today are buildings that have been built after World War II, with three exceptions. The two of the most famous houses of the Renaissance era in Kazimierz Dolny are tenement houses of St. Nicholas and of St. Christopher, which now belong to the city hall and the bank. There is also the Gdańsk House, which was built in the 18th century. Its name refers to the times when Kazimierz Dolny was called Little Gdańsk and the two cities had lively trade contacts via the Vistula River. Actually, it was in Kazimierz that one of the main ports on the central Vistula was built, thanks to which the city quickly became rich on trade. Along the banks of the river, merchants built grain warehouses. There were as many as 60 of them here in the 17th century, half of which were brick granaries. The facades became more and more impressive as the owner's wealth increased, though only 11 have survived to this day. Kazimierz used to be a bohema for artists. It still is a good destination if you are an art fan. In numerous art galleries you will find unusual and unique products. If you are a movie geek, you might find it fascinating that several of the Polish films were shot here. Every summer a film festival takes place in Kazimierz Dolny, and as the name Dwa Brzegi, or in English Two River Bands, indicates, the events of the festival take place on two opposite sides of the river, most of it in Kazimierz Dolny, but also some of it across the Vistula River in the town of Janowiec, where that famous dog used to go for the winter. Kazimierz Dolny has much to offer for the fans of literature too. One of the most acclaimed Polish writers, Maria Kuncewiczowa, used to reside there. She was once to remark that she wouldn't have known much of life if it wasn't for Kazimierz. What did she mean by that? I guess we'll just have to leave it to the imagination. But what we know is that in her novels, Kazimierz Dolny 
comes back to life in a truly magical way. Nowadays you can actually visit the house where Maria Kuncevicova used to live with her husband. It's called Villa Under a Squirrel. It's turned into a museum and you can actually rent a room there. But if you do, make sure you do it way in advance, because there is only two rooms available. While you're in Kazimierz, it's impossible not to try the Kazimierz rooster a hand-woven, butter-based bread, a local delicacy. The legend says that once upon a time, when a large oak forest grew on the windy mountain, the inhabitants of Kazimierz Dolne performed pagan rituals and lit bonfires on its edge. One night, a devil was flying through the forest and he really liked the burning fires. When dawn broke, he saw the beauty of the entire land and decided to settle in Kazimierz for a longer time. He lived in a hall in a ravine among old, spreading oaks. The town became more and more populated and the devil liked that he had more and more people to tempt. When a monastery was built near the gorge, he decided to move to the castle moat. One day the devil saw a rooster in Kazimierz. He was beautiful, plump and seemed very happy, so the devil decided to eat him. The rooster turned out to have such an excellent taste that from then on he ate only these birds. He liked black ones with impressive red crests the most, but he didn't despise others either. All the roosters in the area were in great danger. Finally, there was only one rooster left. He was old and very wise. To save his life, he decided to outsmart the devil and hid with a beautiful hen in a previously prepared hiding place. The devil used all his power to find the bird. However, his anger and determination were to no avail. Unexpectedly, the monks rushed to help the rooster. They sprinkled the devil's hall and everything surrounding it with holy water. When the devil returned from the search, he could not stand the smell of holy water and fled in panic. The rescued rooster came out of hiding and proudly walked the streets of the town. To commemorate this event, Kazimierz began baking roosters from yeast dough, which today are a tourist attraction and a mandatory delicacy when visiting this charming town. So this is the bread rooster and as you can see it's a little bit too big to, uh, to eat on your own, so it's made to share and I, I think I, I'm gonna have a little bit of the head now. Mm, it's delicious. Another place to visit in Kazimierz Dolny is the Hill of Three Crosses. The crosses were placed there in 1708 to commemorate the victims of the cholera epidemic in the early 18th century. But the cross hill was already mentioned in the books from the 16th century, which means it was already a place of worship in the medieval times. An adjacent hill holds the ruins of a medieval tower and a castle, which were built in the first half of the 14th century by King Casimir the Great and were originally surrounded by a 7-meter wall, which could provide shelter for the city's inhabitants in the event of an enemy attack. Unfortunately, it was almost completely destroyed and burned down during the Swedish deluge. And in 1806, at the time of partitions, the Austrians blew up parts that were under a threat of collapsing. No one has lived in that castle for centuries. Rumor has it that it's because it's haunted by an evil spirit of a woman called Catherine. It's said that once she found it a bandit nest there. With help of other criminals, she'd attack nearby manors and merchant caravans. She hid her loot carefully in the castle and a nearby cave. But soon enough, justice reached her and she was sentenced to a horrible death in tortures. Others say that she was abducted by sinister powers to guard the stolen valuables as a demon. According to locals, her ghost appears in the castle to this day, scaring off the tourists so she can count her precious treasures in peace. But let's leave the haunted castle and go down the hill to the parish church of St. John the Baptist and St. Bartholomew. This is the most important city temple, which hides a truly unique treasure the oldest fully preserved organs in Poland, made around 1620. 
Despite the passing time, the instrument retains full concert capacity. Many organ elements have been preserved, although unfortunately some had to be replaced, due to the destruction caused by the Swedes in the 17th century. Almost exactly opposite the Castle Hill, on the Windy Mountain, there is a Franciscan monastery complex with its church, the Sanctuary of Our Lady of Kazimierz, which was built in 1591 and for about 400 years has been a destination for multitudes of pilgrims. Don't leave Kazimierz Dolny without visiting one of the ravines which surround the town. The most famous one is the Root Ravine. As you can see behind me, there's loads of roots all the way around. And just to be on, a, on the safe side, if you come in the summer, make sure to wear tennis shoes and a mosquito repellent. Tons of it. That's it from me. I hope you liked this video and hopefully see you soon.